Good morning, evening, or noon, Pixel people. Welcome back once again to your best Pixel R and Game Dev podcast. The only one where you can buy one and get one free. It's PixFix, and I am your host, uh, Yao Man, also known as Kyle. And with me, I have three people today. The first and foremost is Weasel, handling all the production and the uh, handsomeness. How are you doing today, Weasel? <laughs> oh, I'm going well. Uh, fixing a lot of tef- technical difficulties. Had to set up uh, Windows 10 for this podcast thing yeah. to work properly because last time. Loves Windows 10. Everyone loves Windows 10. All right. Yeah. And of course. <laughs> uh, you might have noticed Kirk is, uh, I don't know, maybe he's on indefinite hiatus, maybe he got eaten. I think he's chasing maybe. wombats right now. Yeah, uh, maybe he's ascended to a higher plane of being, chasing oh, yeah. wombats. But anyway, we have Ambivorous on again as a replacement. So, uh, Ambivorous, how are you doing? Yeah, yeah, thanks. Yeah, no he's happy to be around. Right, all right. <laughs> nice and short, I like it. Uh, and of course, we have our famed and esteemed guest, we have Skaz, uh, <laughs> very... Very great person. Tell the people what's up, Skaz. I'm glad to be here. That's uh, my first podcast ever, actually. So uh, I'm uh, a bit nervous. Well, uh, I'm, I'm sorry that you had to be over this one. Very uh, <laughs> unfortunate. Yeah, you have to start somewhere. I don't know, yeah, that's what we're so. telling ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> yep, pretty much. So uh, I guess we're just going to go around first and foremost and just uh, everyone talk about how their past two weeks have, has been, you know, any uh, any important things they want to talk about or uh, or anything. So I guess we'll start with uh, with Skaz since he's our guest of honor. Uh, my past two weeks, uh, I've been making a game and uh, it's been uh, like uh, six months that I'm making the same game. Uh, the past two weeks... What was I doing especially? Uh, I found a musician for the project. Oh, awesome. Nice. Who's it going to be? Uh, uh, he's a YouTuber, a French YouTuber. Yeah, I'm French, uh, in case you didn't notice. <laughs> uh, he's a French YouTuber. He's a Vled Tapas. Uh, he has a, a channel of, uh, about musicology. And uh, he make uh, a few studies of uh, video game music. It's going to be it's, uh, his first... Uh, his first video game project. Yeah, cool. Nice. Uh, what have I done? I've set up a website. Well, Ooh. website. It's a WordPress. You want to link link it's, there somewhere or uh, give us the address? Uh, it's not finished yet. All right. Well, well when, when it's done. Yeah. I'm gonna show it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're showing right. it right now. That's I'm screen sharing it. Yeah. Go ahead. Tell us about it. Um, it's a presentation for the project with a much, much more text, not enough pictures for now. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm showing a few screenshots, a few, a few GIFs. All right. Lostfortress.com. Lost-fortress.com. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Lost Fortress was already taken. Right. So I wasn't going to buy it for $400. Ah, shame. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's it. Uh, I've been spending time uh, making the seat, making a few visual for the game, like uh, yeah. the the entrance of the fortress. Yeah, it looks really cool. This one. Yeah. Uh, I'll show you uh, the same pictures animated later in the game. Right. Yeah. Nice. And that's it. I'm slowly trying to build an audience, but uh, oh, communication yeah, yeah. is uh, is not my specialty. Let's say. I don't know way. how that is building an audience. Oh yeah. man, that is a pain in the ass. Yeah, right now I have fifty six followers. Ooh, that's which, pretty uh, good. Which yeah, is something. Looking by the quality of your game right now, this is gonna change fast. Yeah. Yes. Ah, uh, sure. Partner. Hope so. Yeah, just keep posting stuff, you know, every, like every Saturday, if you just post one of those screenshots, Saturday posts, you can probably get like 10, 10 a week, 10 followers a week. Yeah, I've gained a few, but uh, I wasn't tweeting regularly enough, so uh, I'm losing them as much as I'm gaining them. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess that's it for me. Right, all right. Well, uh, I guess Ambivers can go next. We'll go reverse order from the intros. What have you been up ah. to? 
yeah, get to go before you guys. Um, so I've been giving Godot a try over the past uh, past weekend, or past week, because uh, as as we all know, and uh, programming from scratch is always the best option when you're a programmer. But uh, sometimes uh-huh, you want to make a life a little bit easier. So yeah, I've just been given the shot. It's actually uh, it's coming along pretty well. Also, I made a quick markup of uh, which is what is essentially a, a Flappy Bird clone, just with slightly different mechanics. Um, but it's probably a lot better. You should release it. Oh yeah, I mean basically <laughs> anything better, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> But yeah, so I'm going to try and pump that out as quickly as possible so that I can uh, get a nice hang on Godot. And then uh, I can recommend it if I if I think it's pretty good. All right. Still not ready to make that yet. Recommendation. Ah, That's fine. You know, it's difficult. All right. Well, uh, Weasel, I guess you're up. Oh, well, it's not much happening the last two weeks. Uh... Work was kind of a pain sometimes and was home pretty late because we had a delivery. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, I did some, well, you could say some studies and I started a pretty nice animation earlier this week and I finally got it finished yesterday and it got some really nice reception so far on Twitter, which I'm really yeah, happy about. Yeah. That's a really uh, cool animation. Fire monster. Thing. Why have we not brought it up? It's the real question, I uh, think. Yeah, guys. I can... <laughs> Let's be Weasel's the host here. He has to pull it up. It's his own animation. Well, yeah, come on. What are you doing? I also didn't realize that we included getting drunk as work as uh, part of our, what we did in the last two weeks because I definitely feel like I participated in the drinks after work, which I think is close enough. I mean, you can just talk about whatever, you know, whatever <laughs> you want to talk about in your past weekly life. In my past. The audience is very interested. Yeah, definitely kind of want to know about. But always doing studies, you know, that's what's uh, important. You got to get better. Yeah, don't wanna, studying stuff. Don't want to get stale. Don't some people adventure. don't even stop making their games while they're on podcasts, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, some <laughs> degenerate people don't put their focus <laughs> towards the, the cast. <laughs> I can't believe it. That's the kind <laughs> of. Uh, it's the level we want, eh? Dedication. Yeah. Weasel, have you found that picture yet? Come on. Yeah, I'm currently trying to put it. Ah, we go. But, uh, uh, li- live right. productions. So, so hard. <laughs> I'll find it. I mean, I have the oh, picture. Sorry. You could go to my screen share, but uh, it's no. not going to be great. No, I have it up right now. All right, that's fine. Yeah, you, you should. Well, whatever. I'm, I'm going to switch over again. <laughs> Oh, there we go. It looks really nice on the stream. Yeah. Yeah. All right. At, hey. at first, I, I made the like static sprite, and then people were like, well, this is nice. When are you going to yeah. animate it? And I'm like, oh. You've got to animate. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> got to have to animate that giant large sprite. It's going to take a bunch of time. You yeah. Know? Uh, but, but to be fair, it didn't actually take as long as making the sprite in the first place, which was really surprising. Yeah. Ah. Maybe you just have some of those dope animation techniques. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> without without even knowing them all that well. But I guess it's yeah, there's, there's even there's even a, a process of you draw drawing and animating it on YouTube, right? Isn't that when uh, you upload that? Yeah, I did upload that. I'm gonna post that on Twitter later this night, I guess. Oh yeah, guys, be sure to be sure to get get on the Twitter. He's gonna post it. So they're <laughs> important. All right. Well, anything else you want to talk about? Any excitement? Any cool stuff? Uh, no, I think it's your turn, actually. You've been entangled uh-huh. in something nice this Ask weekend, aren't buck. you? Uh, not, not, not that nice. Let's see. Past two weeks, uh, <laughs> got my finals done the last weekend. Nice, so congrats. I'm like, finally, I'm free from summer classes. <laughs> then I, uh, I came yep. home, back to the house, and my mom is here. Probably heard her in the background before the show, which yeah. is always nice. Flying back <laughs> from halfway across the world. Yeah, and, uh, I heard let's, yeah. people. <laughs> I heard <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that's probably her. Anyway, uh, you're right, the game jam, the Game Makers Toolkit jam was this weekend. I was like, all right, let's, let's do my game jam thing. I finally got time, and uh, really, it, it, it's horrible. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's awful because you think you got time and then you got to go buy groceries and do eye exams and then suddenly you have no time and then yeah. if, if you thought live production was bad just making the game you suddenly you have 48 <laughs> hours and then you get even more of that cut out that you didn't plan on so it's really a great learning experience on how to cut features left and right <laughs> It's just if I really if the game is playable without it, it then it's gone. So yeah, right now uh, I might or might not be still working on it. Uh, working one time soon. Yeah, thanks, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, mom. Anyway, uh, what, thanks, what's the game mom. about right now? What are you working yeah. on? Uh, well, the theme is that you have like one action does multiple things. So I have like a little. little I I can turn on the screen share here. Uh, it's very uh very spectacular. Um. Uh, you have a little sphere, and he has a gun. You see, he's very inspired uh, by, uh, yeah. Whoops, I died instantly. Uh, hang on. Ah, good job. You're pretty good at your game. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the best. All right, anyway, try again. <laughs> see, you have this little ball that shoots bullets, and the more you move, the stronger you get. Oh, cool. And then there's these little octopus things. Ah, oh, they're cute. I, I really wanted, like, some kind of theme or story, but that, that just wasn't going to happen. So you're, you're a ball. <laughs> There are octopus. <laughs> there are other types of octopus things, and uh, you just shoot them until you die, I guess. Yeah, as you can see, the progress isn't going great so far. So yeah, that's that's pretty much what I've been working on the, in terms of game development. I've been trying a new style with the graphics, something simpler. Maybe I can get it done faster. Uh, not working out great on that front either. <laughs> Really, this is a is it's a disaster and a great learning experience all rolled into one. So yeah, that's what game yeah. gems are really great for. Just the the quick experience of what can go horribly wrong and how do I prevent <laughs> it from happening. Yeah, yeah, I really gotta plan better in the future. Yeah, for sure. Oh well, I, I'm I'm just gonna chalk this one up as a uh, uh, great learning experience. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Well, that's it for me. Uh, so then, what do we want to talk about today? Well, we need to drill the guest. Right, we gotta grill the guest. Scat. <laughs> <laughs> well, the first key question that I like to ask everyone is, uh, what question do you want to be asked that you want to want to answer? Uh, what Pokemon I am? All right, what Pokemon <laughs> are you? Well, uh... well. Yeah, just give a general rundown about yourself. Say you were on a game show, one of those like dating shows, and you're like behind the curtain, and you had to tell the the the, the hot girl about yourself, trying to convince her to date you. Well, what would you say? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> I'd rather imagine what kind of Pokemon I am, I guess. <laughs> or what kind of Pokemon are you? Uh, Tall Tank, I guess. I like oh, him. See. And and what makes you say that? Uh, that's the first Pokemon I picked when I played it back in the days. Oh, well, right. I guess that's good. No, great Following. reason. Yeah, good favorite. <laughs> Any general description about yourself you like to give? What anything the audience needs to know about you to get an idea of your character, your charisma? Um, I'm a shy guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe not uh, so much. That's uh, what else? I like making the games. Give me questions. Right, he likes Spons. making games. <laughs> a shy person. Oh, we're all relatable around here. Uh, uh, well, that's a good general description of a, a lot of people, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, you, so you, how long have you been making games, actually? I've started making games, I'd say, four years ago as a hobby. Mm -hmm. uh, I was still uh, working in a company. That was doing some completely unrelated stuff. Was it IT based? Um, I was making uh, e-learning. You know. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I was working with Flash all day, making uh, oh, animation oh, cool. mostly. <laughs> uh, I wasn't Wait, making cool. code. I was just using the the, the animation tools. So oh, I was right. making. That's not uh, so bad then. No, it wasn't so bad. A few moments I had to put some code. I didn't even write it myself. Yeah, rough. So I started making games. First game I made was uh, inspired by the asteroid chase from Star Wars. You had the, the Falcon in an asteroid field and you were shooting down uh, TIE fighters. 
I lost it. Uh, never finished it. And then my second project was not uh, ambitious at all. It was uh, actually Lost Fortress, the one I'm working on right now. Except uh, I didn't know what to code back then. So it collapsed under the weight of my uh, inability to code something correctly. So when did you start on that project? Uh, I picked it back uh, six months ago, I'd say. Okay. Oh, and when did you uh, initially start with it? Uh, no, that was my second project. Uh, it was uh, more than three years ago. Mm, okay, cool. Nice. I didn't even know what a state machine was, so I tried to code the character with uh, exclusion from one uh, possibility to the other, and uh, in the yeah. end, uh, it was fun. completely impossible to maintain. <laughs> so I dropped it. <laughs> But yeah. an A for effort on that one. Jeez. Well yeah, you know, a lot of effort. Yeah, but I'm a, I'm a traditional artist. I made uh, fine arts. Oh. Nice. Uh, I didn't make uh, pixel art back then. It was more like uh, painting with my fingers and stuff like that. Oh, cool. And um, I started making pixel art because. Uh, I don't know. I just wanted to give it a try. And I liked the aesthetics. But it wasn't uh, out of nostalgia or something. I uh, just wanted to make uh, small sprites, like a uh, Risk of Rain. Right. I really liked the small sprite in the game. I ended up, I ended up making uh, much bigger ones, well, compared <laughs> to Risk of Rain, which is not uh, that big. Characters would be like 8 pixels or so. Yeah, they're really yeah. tiny. <clears throat> And uh, the character I made was the dwarf from the first version of Lost Fortress. Yeah, it was a male one back then, right? Yeah, yeah, it was a big bird. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, I didn't even have the the idea of the game. I just wanted to make a dwarf because I love dwarves. <laughs> so I made one, and uh, I figured why not make a game with it. And that's how it started. Mm. Cool. And how's your experience into uh, programming going? Because this is obviously um, quite, a, quite, a, quite an interesting topic for people who have to get into game design yeah. uh, as, as artists. <laughs> uh, my programming experience is exactly uh, zero. I never studied it, never made code professionally. I just picked up Game Maker uh, um, because I, I thought I could make game without typing code, you know, using drag yeah. and drop. Yeah, it turned out it wasn't really possible. <laughs> so I just started uh, following uh, Sean Spalding tutorials, platformer one, and I just picked up coding like that. So I, I can code anything else than uh, GML, but uh, I'm self-trained. I can say I'm a good programmer, but uh, I can still make what I uh, I can I can make what I want. I can make a character move. I can make, uh, I can make it jump. I can make basic AI. So I don't think I need uh, yeah that's really cool. more than that. I tried Unity. Uh, I tried uh, C Sharp, but I felt I'd have too much to learn to be able to make anything. So I didn't have time. So I went back yeah. to Game Maker so and to time. 2D. Okay, so you're still working with Game Maker nowadays, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I picked up uh, the new version, Studio Two, yeah. which uh, there's a few things better. Uh, the the whole UI, I'm not a huge fan. Moving uh, windows around, I think it's uh, it's pretty weird. I'm getting, I'm lost sometime in the interface. So, but. Uh, Oh yeah, looking at it right now, it looks really yeah. confusing. The whole uh, zoom in, zoom out of when the window. Not sure it's really, it's really relevant. It's it's an interesting approach to uh, window management, but I think you really have to be into your project. And once you're out for a little while, I think it can get yeah. A bit weird. Yeah, what I dislike is you you can have windows, but. Uh, you can see the bottom because it's hidden by some other windows on top of it. Now you have to hide everything. Um, but it's still it's still a decent tool as far as I'm concerned. It manages everything I need, collisions. Uh, 
picking a variable from an instance and all that stuff. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's enough for me. Yeah, it's nice. If there's anything you don't need, you can just book it up, right? That's the wonder of the internet nowadays. Tutorials for everything. Yeah, and that's something. Uh, Unity has uh, way more tutorials, but it's way more complex. True. Yeah, it, it, uh, it, it kind of needs it. Yeah, but uh, documentation is pretty decent. Uh, I usually find what I look for. Yeah. And there's uh, still forums. So. No, I say it's a decent tool. If, if you want to make a few games, you, you can program. Uh, start there. Or maybe with Construct. Uh, I never tried it myself. Uh, it seemed to be more restrictive. You can't code at all. You really have to yeah. use a drag and drop. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not a fan of the ID because when you yeah. when you're making a state machine or something with a with a, a lot of code like that, I'm not sure drag and drop is a is a is a positive stuff. Yeah, I started using con construct construct two, and and the one thing I couldn't get was how to get a specific instance, and it was just killing me because yeah. I had no idea how to select an like I just keep using like instance nearest and try to guess the coordinates of <laughs> where the thing I wanted is. Yeah, I off. did that when I started Game Maker. I did the same thing. Yeah. When there was a collision, I just checked the the closer, but sometimes yeah. it's not enough. I don't know. I still don't know how to get an instance in in construct, so I'm giving up on. It. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, today um, I will show you how. I make a basic animation. I just right. uh, started today with a uh, Aether Sprite. Usually I use Photoshop. Uh, yeah. I bought uh, a Sprite a while back because I wanted to use uh, the auto tile feature to make texture, yeah. which is uh, awesome. But uh, never used it to, to make animation. Uh, and it's quite powerful, really. You can yeah. uh, play the animation uh, any any way you like, you can move. Uh, you can move keyframes, much like uh, it reminds me of Flash actually, with the timeline and keyframes and all that, uh, all that stuff. Yeah, it's probably just really intuitive in that sense. Yeah, it's, it's really quite powerful. Uh, I'm impressed. So today I just made the, the skeleton of the animation. Yeah, that's uh, the the ladder climbing. Yeah, the guy climbing ladder. Looks nice. I made it uh, really precise because uh, in game the animation will uh, always be locked, so the hands are actually in front of the bars of the layers. That's so cool. I love that stuff. Yeah. Uh, I can show you what it looks like in the game right now. <laughs> uh, do you always work with uh, with a stickman before you start doing actual animation or rendering? No, and when I don't, I usually fuck myself, and I have to start uh, start again from scratch. <laughs> so <laughs> I try to yeah. use it. So it's a uh, buggy. Uh -huh. I just uh, started implementing it. Yeah, that's so and, cool. And uh, when when I don't use a stickman, I may be satisfied with it in uh, in Photoshop, and just uh, as soon as I implement it to the game, I realize it's not working <laughs> because uh, in motion there are problems. So really, that's something I recommend. Use use stick man, make uh, even to grab the grasp the basic motion you you want to achieve. I think it's it's fairly important if you want uh, acceleration deceleration. Making a stick man will will save you time. Yeah, uh, I used it, to make it saves a, a frame. lot of overworking uh, over overdrawing yeah. as well. I used to draw frames and uh, then uh, and then making some uh, some experiments, and I usually end up removing a few ones to achieve. Uh, the the easing of the of the animation, mm -hmm. so that's uh, that's time you lose. You make frames for nothing. Yeah, for sure. So no, no, I really try to use a stick man, uh, and something else uh, I usually do. I used to animate, you know, by selecting chunks of the object and moving them around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, in the end, you you have something pretty stiff. The character is not very dynamic. So now what I do is I make the stick man, and I redraw every frame, the basic shape of the character. And when I'm satisfied with it, I add shading and the details. That's actually a really it, smart it, idea. It, it takes more time, I guess, but uh, the result, uh, 
I, I see a, I see a clear difference when I do it and when I don't. Mm -hmm. It's way way more fluid, way more natural. So you have to to actually uh, let go and just draw it from scratch, just taking uh, the the frame around as a reference. Yeah, and once once you have a really good grasp of your character design, redrawing single frames is going to be fairly quick. Well, depending on the yeah. amount of detail, obviously, but that's always the case. Yeah, uh, something I do also when I make a, a character. It's um, uh, I'll just show you my uh, Deviant Art page. I make a turnaround, and this way, when I want to to move the character, I'm not uh, locked in a side view or a front view. Mm -hmm. I can uh, use it as a reference to make sure I can make it more much more natural, like the character is. Uh, is actually uh, pivoting on itself. It takes time, but uh, in the end, uh, something uh, I enjoy doing it. I probably wouldn't otherwise. But it's also uh, it's, it's a nice tool when you want to animate a character, like uh, for the, the running animation. Uh, actually, I, I, I used it, and it was uh, way more. Uh, the, the, the lateral tilting was. Uh, way more important before, but it was too much, like uh, she was drunk or something, so I, I actually had to, <laughs> had to reduce she's it. Well, a good fit for a dwarf, right? Well, yeah. she's a dwarf, she, she can hold her liquor. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's also pretty good practice drawing, uh, drawing, doing rotations like that, so you definitely become way more, um, that word, uh, familiar with your, your sprites. And you have to draw them spinning around in a circle. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good exercise to do anyway. All right. Well, uh, if that's all that needs to be said for now, we could go on a, a short break here. Anyone object to that? No, I can do that. We can do that. refill my water, anyways. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Well, we'll be back in a few minutes. Stay tuned, guys, for more exciting, exciting discussions. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep. See you in a bit. Welcome back, everybody. What a nice and refreshing break. Everyone's got water, got snacks. Get ready for the second half of the show here. And we have a very exciting topic of, uh, of video games, as suggested by, uh, <laughs> by Ambivorous. And uh, since he's such an expert on the topic, I'll let Ambivorous take over here about what he wants to talk about in terms of game development. Go ahead. Okay, all right, cool, thanks. I left being shoved down the river. It's actually my favorite thing. Uh, so uh, let's get started at the beginning of video games, coming up with <laughs> a concept. Okay. Oh, First that all, beginning, not like in the yes, 70s. Okay. <laughs> no, not like Pong. Pong. Um, yeah. <laughs> although we all had to make Pong at some point. But yeah. yeah, so concepts for video games. This is obviously this is something that came up with uh, Yao at his recent game jam. It's something oh, that yeah. uh, Chaz had to do three years ago. Scans had to do three years ago when he started this game. Yeah. Uh, we've all had to do it. It is not the easiest thing to come up with the convincing um, game idea, and also you often find out that your idea is not actually as good as what you thought. A little bit later down the line. Or maybe it so, is, but you get bored of it. Or, that's or another better. topic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that never happened. So we're not even going to bother covering that. Uh, <laughs> so I guess I'll start, since that's yeah, you, you start. You know, my topic. Uh, so recently I wanted to just make a, as mentioned, flappy clone. No, flappy bird clone. Not really a flappy bird clone, but... Uh, I wanted to come up with a simple game concept just so I could get used to a new engine. So, obviously my first step was I don't want to have to do too complex art for this, so let's keep it nice tiny sprites. Little 16 by 16 bit sprites uh, makes it a lot easier to pump out uh, concept art as well as uh, you know actual game art at a much faster rate. Um, Concept art for pixels. What? I mean, concept <laughs> art. What is this? You just you just put pixels on the canvas and then you make them better off. That's really what concept is, right? Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. Exploring so, designs. Yeah, exactly. So you start off and you you need to design a character that fits into sixteen pixels that you can actually, uh, you know, get looking pretty good. Um, 
And generally speaking, you have to rely heavily then on suggestion over uh, actual, you know, showing off the pixels that make shape of the thing. Um, which I think really helps help, helps me think about the, the, the way my game is going to play out. I've got this tiny little character. I need them to do something. It needs to be kind of fun. Uh, let's just over-enunciate every single little thing that the little character does. Uh, and make it a bit bizarre. Make it crazy. Like, Nintendo comes up with an idea, hey guys, let's make a little Italian plumber climb through pipes and jump on mushrooms. It'll be great. And... Yeah. <laughs> if you put it like that, it sounds like the dumbest idea ever. <laughs> oh, exactly, <laughs> right? But that's what it was at the beginning. So I want to hear you guys and your dumb ideas that you came up with at the beginning. And what they became. Dumb idea. Oh, I I have an idea that's currently well, it's kind of like on break right now, but I still want to work on it. It's like a Metroidvania, but the main character is a big boulder, and you just sort of <laughs> instead of moving, you just roll around, uh, and then the bo- the boulder has like a floating sword that flies around it. Ah, yeah. okay. The the cool part was that you know you 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 like swing the sword with your with your mouse, see. So the faster you're moving your mouse, the more uh, damage you would be doing. I don't know where the boulder came from. I think the boulder came from <laughs> the fact that I didn't want to draw like actual character, <laughs> <laughs> so I just rotate like a so s- a static sprite. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, technical limitation. That's uh, that's very important for creativity. I think that's just a la- laziness limitation on my part. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. But hey. Put up the idea of a flying sword thing with the mouse. That's pretty. It's cool. not that stupid. The other than the boulder. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to come up with a story for it, but then I'm like, I have a boulder. It doesn't. It has no emotion. It has no personality. I don't know, man. Well, you just gotta give your boulder personality. You give it like a bow or something. Come now. If, if, if it has a mouth, like it has personality. Angry right? eyebrows. Yeah. That will... <laughs> angry eyebrows. Like you're done. Like what? <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, I don't know. That's my stupid idea, I guess. Anyone else? Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't Go know. Me. It's a really stupid idea as well. I guess we all think that our ideas are really stupid, but in terms of being like wacky and goofy, I don't think I had anything. Oh, wait! There was one idea for a Ludum <laughs> Fairy, right? <laughs> and yeah. I, I forgot what the theme was, but I ended up doing uh, a game where you are cannibal. Walking around in the street, stabbing people <laughs> and then eating them. But you have to be careful not to get caught by other people. So you have to like pay attention to uh, so the other pedestrians don't see you and stab them behind their backs and stuff like that. It was uh, really fucking simple GTA, and okay. it was it was kind of cute in its morbidity. That that was really cool as well. But other than that, it's mostly like uh, well, mm, yeah, that sounds like a nice idea. Go to Notepad. Uh, Print out uh, or plot out ideas for my brain for an hour or so, and then start working on it. So there's not a lot of creative process in the arts, I would say, from that point of view, at least in my yeah. concept process. But yeah. I thought it was pretty good idea. Yeah, it sounds pretty. Very re- realistic. It sounds like something that could happen. <laughs> yeah. <you know? laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> You, in real life, you really don't want people to know that you're busy stabbing other humans and eating them. Exactly. So you gotta hide from them. Yeah. Uh. It's my neighbor based off a real story from his own life. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. Well, Exposed. You, you were not supposed to say that. <laughs> like, oh, Reveal. No. Shut it down. Guys, turn it <laughs> off. <laughs> okay, I'm turning to the technical difficulty screen now. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right. Any other stupid Skaz. ideas? I think Skaz is turn. Tony Fair. Uh, stupid ideas. Uh, honestly, I don't really have the time to have uh, other game ideas. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. That's a good. And when good I have, uh, I really should uh, kill them because I don't yeah. have the time. Oh, um, that's not good. Understandable. Uh, yes, good. one. Yeah, you could you could call it stupid. I know, but um, for the Game Boy Jam, I wanted to make a. Uh, Procedural dungeon crawler based on uh, a link to the past. Oh, okay. Uh, no, Link's Awakening, the Game Boy One. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's not this one. And um, 
Yeah, it that was fun too. More dwarf games. Jeez, you are yeah. dwarf game. you're the That's fucking dwarf hair. man. Hey, dwarfs are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Wait, yeah, what? I thought, it, w I thought it, would, it would be quick, you know, make a procedural uh, generation. Oh, yeah. yeah so uh, quick. Turns out uh, I was wrong. <laughs> so it sits on my hard drive, unfinished. Usually when uh, I make a, a game jam, I try to to make a, a post jam version of the games. Uh, my my only finished games are uh, are jam games that I, I put time to to finish them okay. after afterward. But uh, this one, no, uh, I don't think I will uh, finish it ever. Uh, that's a shame because it looks really cool, actually. No, it does. Pretty impressive. Yeah, it it, it has uh, a kind of Isaac vibe. Which is really good. Yeah, yeah. Isaac yeah. was inspired by uh, the first Zelda. Yeah, sure. So it's a bit, uh, you know, circular. Oh, yeah, wow. I spent quite some time on it, but it's not going to do it. I'm afraid. It's not. It's not. <laughs> well, it depends on the scope, right? I don't know what you not meant to be, it, but it really. Well, the the idea is compelling, and you you can see with Isaac that it uh, that people are actually looking into these kind of games as well, right? Yeah. So it's worth a consideration to just spend a month and get it finished or so, right? Yeah, but uh, uh, we're not talking a month here. Uh, uh, I, al I already spent... Uh, the jam was uh, a week long, mm -hmm. so I spent a whole was week. was it seven-day roleplay, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, No, it was uh, the Game Boy Jam. Oh, okay. But uh, so I, I thought, yeah, seven day, you know, maybe I can try something more ambitious than uh, just a simple platformer. But uh, even in a week, it was it was hard to make some things that uh, look halfway decent and, and just work at all. And I spent, uh, I think I spent a month or two after trying to, to finish it. But uh, oh, wow. it, it's a bottomless pit. Uh, I can't finish <laughs> it. Uh, I considered making it a pet project. But uh, nah, it, it will devour my soul if I try to. <laughs> Okay, it's so, good that you, that's a that problem, you uh, yeah. realize that and turn to yeah, other projects you know. in that sense, in yeah. that case. You know, in the end, uh, if you want to make money, you have to, to sell games, so making games just for fun. Uh, Were you just hovering over a pit there? Uh, like yeah. A sheet. At yeah. first, uh, I, I just wanted to, to make the exact same thing as in uh, the Zeldas, when you, you could fall. But uh, in the end, I make it quite differently. You can't willfully jump, but ah, when okay. you, you when you, you you take knockback from enemies, that's when you can. Uh, I'm dead. <laughs> that, that's when you can you can fall. <laughs> but uh, the, it's buggy as hell. You can teleport <laughs> from a pit to another to to the other through the room. Uh, yeah. Sounds like speedrun threats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <That's me running. laughs> <laughs> Yeah, at least you know yeah. that you're not the only one who's faced problems like that. It's a feature, you know? It's not a bug. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how you have to market it. It's just a matter of <laughs> what name you call it. Yeah. Feature, bug, <laughs> same thing. <laughs> and I yeah. just teleported. And I'm stuck. Brilliant. <laughs> wow. Uh, that's it. Okay, well, that's that was cool. cool. Yeah. Nothing wrong there. You, you seem to have a uh, propensity. You just you like dwarves. That's that's not sugar coated. Yeah. Uh, I think you can say that. Okay. Well, actually, my game is not as much inspired by other video games as uh, Lord of the Ring and uh, stuff like that. Ah. The first, the very first version of uh, Lost Fortress was meant to have you uh, delve in a in an in an ancient uh, lost dwarf fortress. Uh, overrun by uh, goblins, so oh, it was okay. uh, really you know, Minds of Moria stuff. Uh, yeah. oh, really cool. But uh, the new version is more uh, Metroid-like, I guess, because the monsters are really weird, slug-like creatures that can uh, evolve, got legs and uh, weird head, and spit uh, spit venom at you. So I went a bit further from the the basic theme. What's the kind of atmosphere you're going for with this game? More like goofy or more more serious and atmospheric, moody, or what's your plan here? Yeah, 
pretty moody. Uh, if, if you saw the screenshots, the colors are pretty toned down. And uh, the proportion of the character are quite realistic. Uh, I, I don't know, maybe you can compare it to uh, old games like uh, Flashback or um, even Prince of Persia. Oh, uh, sweet. Prince More Persia. that that kind of uh, atmosphere. Yeah, but without Prince of Persia gameplay, you know? Yeah. Like with actual with, uh, good gameplay, you mean? Yeah, with the gameplay wow. you, in which you can move, actually. Oh, you can move oh, and not oh. die. <laughs> That's me, man. Oh. But they had good animation. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they did. But they were rotors to yeah. Yeah. That's basically tracing. Yeah, right? the, the yeah, that's basically Tracy. Yeah, that's Tracy. So. Ah, she is. They're gonna hate me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. Prince of Persia sponsorship. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I thought we were getting it. But now it's gone. Oh, well. Hey, but then they released the movie, so it's fine, don't worry. Redeem. Movie was great. Yeah. 10 out of 10 movie. <laughs> 10 out of 10. I got this is a 5 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, it was a great movie. Great. Wonderful. Wonderful. I loved right. every bit of it. So, I guess that's it for the stupid ideas thing. <laughs> yeah, uh, rather. Yeah, well, sorry. Right. <laughs> what, you mean making a movie from a game yeah. which has a stupid scenario <laughs> and only keeping the stupid scenario in a movie is a stupid idea? Yeah, pretty okay. much. So this, yeah, there we go. See, you stayed on topic. Nice, I like it. <laughs> they all came back around. No more. <laughs> mm, got skills. Uh, also so, talk about <laughs> video <awesome>. games. <laughs> yeah. More video games. More power. So, I'll carry on my conversation about with myself about uh, ga um, game design experiences. So I actually didn't explain my terrible idea. I realized that I, I forced you guys to tell me your terrible stories first. Um, <laughs> yeah. My, uh, yeah, I have this. I decided to use my previous character, uh, Wapich, now Honey, um, as my char my playable character. And mm. then I sort of drew, drew her in a pose and noticed she kind of looked like she was skating. So, of course, I did the only logical thing and decided that she would be trying to skate on a Roomba and that <laughs> she would, I don't know, just nice. do whatever it is that you do when you're skating on Roombas. And the first thing, obviously, that came to mind when you think about obstacles, and this is from Weasel, is annoying little plastic things, because they are the arch nemesis of the Roomba. Thus, I decided, obviously, the obstacles need to be Lego blocks, because <laughs> those mess up any Roomba any day. Like, things don't even stand a chance. That one, maybe having cats on top of you constantly, but I didn't really know how that would be like a gameplay thing. Dodging cats, I chasing them all. I don't know. Then probably get away with it anyway uh but yeah then it's just sort of evolved from there uh put the lego blocks on top of each other do procedural because we all know that when you have to make a game quickly you think the procedural is a good idea yeah, and it'll yeah you don't have to con uh, yeah. design any level right yeah, yeah exactly on that. yeah cool. yes yeah. <laughs> it's super easy <laughs> so you just do that procedurally generated things and you go to town and then suddenly infinite you a game. content you win infinite <laughs> infinite content <laughs> Instant Two days instant later, content. like, sure. don't worry, you, you got this, we're good to go, you, you're going to have players hooked for years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's where I am now. Uh, soon. Oh, and getting used to the engine, which, uh, might as well segue into engines then. I'm trying right. out uh, this Godot thing. I don't know if you guys have used Godot before at all. Anyone? I used it for 20 minutes. Yeah, very good. That ah. counts. I'm, the tile support was me. awful, so I dropped it instantly. The tech support? The tile support, like tile maps. Oh, I uh, see. Yes. Okay, cool. Because I was like, I didn't even know they had tech support. They just <laughs> need to switch off and on again. Like, I, that's all they do anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's quite different from the other ones. Uh, I haven't actually tried Game Maker or anything. Uh, Skaz, you were mentioning yeah. earlier, Game Maker. Some of your yeah. thoughts on it. Um, have you, but it's kind of, it's hard to well it's hard to find a tool that helps you make games easily and also if you think it, it must be really hard to make a tool to that other people that's other people make video games that's like what are even the things you take into consideration okay obviously tiling if you don't have tiling it turns out you will never have weasel as a customer you just throw your dreams out the window yeah um 
But like, what are the other things that you guys find important in your in your well in the games that you make? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Not much. Yeah, um, you just need a flying sword, right? So as long as you can. Yeah. Well, m- m- multiplayer. I know some engines support it better than the others, like networking, peer-to-peer yeah. stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Do you guys? Yeah, that's. Are, do you, any of your games have multiplayer planned in it? Well, I, I started some multiplayer <laughs> games before, and I worked on some professionally, but uh, uh, multiplayer is a bit. You you don't want to get yeah. into multiplayer games if you don't really have to. It's it's at least doubling your development time, at least. At least. Uh, but you can just make procedurally generated content, and that way you'll <laughs> save time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. So much. Yeah, okay. Uh, well, but I would like to add multiplayer, but yeah, I... I've never considered it because of uh, oh, I always levels. consider it. I always <laughs> consider multiplayer before dropping. I feel like you there's a way to have, have Yeah, multiplayer is just so have nice. But ah. two boulders with swords around them. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, well, one can be the one, boulder, one, one, yeah. one can be the sword. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my amazing. god. Wait, Damn. the <laughs> Do it. Perfect. Hell no. Could you imagine what happens if it lags? It'll be horrible. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's yeah I had to lag compensation and all that stuff too. It's, it's yeah. awful. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, and uh, I, looked, else? I looked into uh, stuff multiplayer like stuff with Game Maker, but uh, as soon as I discovered that uh, aside from a local one, you had to take uh, the lag into consideration, I say, yeah, okay, no, let's make no. solo games. Yeah. Or at least games that people can play together on the same PC. That's also fine. That works. Yeah, what happens to split screen? More easy. It's all dead now. No, no one does local multiplayer anymore. Well, it's no getting much. a bit more, uh, more prevalent in the last year or so. I want to say there's a bunch of really cool local uh, multiplayer games being released. Mostly very, very niche and very indie. Like, uh, mm. really, let's just say crap production values for the most part. <laughs> or really, wow. really Damn. goofy and low. Uh, I don't know how how you say it without. Being sounding condescending, but that's not my intent, Gar- right? Garbage, <laughs> trash. Yeah, like that, basically. <laughs> <laughs> no, but there, there's uh, there's some uh, things happening on that side because I think uh, people are realizing that that's a really cool way to make multiplayer games in an easy way, right? Yeah, I guess. I don't know if I've taken into account lag. Plus, we could just add a male dwarf and a female dwarf to Skaz's game. And then you can run along together. Yeah. <laughs> or two girls. Like, I don't actually... Sorry, I didn't mean to be sexist. <laughs> yeah. Just assume their genders. Come yeah, on. I'm sorry. I, um, you can put an attack <clears throat> helicopter in. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Sn- snipper uh-huh. clips. Uh, that's a big one local multiplayer. Yeah, there we go. I actually haven't heard of that game. What is that about... It's on the Nintendo Switch, it's like a puzzle game. You're like two shapes, and you gotta like cut each other to like fit into like holes and carry stuff and stuff. Like you can cut like a hole in the other person so oh, they can carry sounds, like a ball. That sounds nice. Yeah, I, yeah, I love cutting holes in other people. Wait, didn't we Weasel make a game about this recently? Yeah, yeah, something about a cannibal. <laughs> <laughs> it was more about stabbing about... holes, but uh, same difference, right? Yeah, and you can make that lo- local multiplayer. Some guy gets stabbed, you can. Oh it's yeah, that's a guy. good idea. Like one is a cannibal <laughs> that has to hide around, the other is the unsuspecting prick peasant, and you have to yeah. just get behind you get him. You get eaten in the game. In the you can eat him in real life as well. Oh, it's <laughs> because it's couch co-op, you're right. Yeah. Like if, if you can't course. get your character, get him in real life. <laughs> yeah, it's like be virtual reality. It's really cool. Or it's like real reality even. You know, you could put like the VR headset on for the environment and just like tape the con- controller to the other guy so you know, like you could see him in the VR and you could like hunt him down your own house. <laughs> perfect, perfect. I like it. Oh, geez. It's gonna go far. We're talking about stupid game ideas earlier, right? This is just <laughs> brilliant. Wait, this is a great game idea. I don't know what you're talking about. But that, that Snipper Clips is a good example, right? Where, I mean. Oh, cool. Occasionally, there are multiple people in the same house, and I—I I don't know about you guys, but I remember trying to play fighting games with one keyboard, like I, with my by brother. Yourself. Yeah. Well, well. It, okay, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Smash both controllers. 
you just try and try and mash all the keys, but then you you learned that if you just press like three of them, then the other guy couldn't actually put any inputs in. And you could just like punch him in the oh, face. Oh yeah, repeatedly. yeah. yeah. Keyboard ghosting a lot like happens it's, too. It's those those meta details, you know. It's all about yeah. like, no technique is forbidden. Input. Just <laughs> input denial. Input <laughs> denial. <laughs> <laughs> New tech, guys. Hurry. Yeah, yeah. I it's, I it's learned about feature. it recently. Because I I, uh, I choose a, a control scheme for the game, and uh, it wasn't working, and I was wondering what the fuck, why can why could I not jump? Yeah. And then I just realized I couldn't press more than three keys with uh, the space bar. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, you no, know, it's different for every keyboard though. I learned that, that after is, learning yeah. about Ghost too, which is absolute pain then because you just have no idea. <laughs> Yeah, so then I just put in rebindable should, keys. Yeah, either that or uh, controller controls uh, things. Yeah. You know? I, I got pads. both. Game cap. Game pad, Game pad controls. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, so so speak enough, because I I obviously bought a controller for my computer, and uh, I think at some point, uh, computer game makers were, well, they they generally steer away from trying like having a game that requires a controller. But yeah. a these days they're porting games from consoles to PC, and b a lot of people end up having controllers. What do we think the likelihood of seeing more controller-based games are on our PCs in the future? Well, pretty much every, like, at least 2D game is mostly have controller support if it, yeah. the game gameplay actually Very, yeah. uh, leverages it. Yeah, right? it, if it's not yeah, like it's based on the game. Yeah, if it's like a, like a turn-based, like, civilization is not going to really bother with that. <laughs> yeah. But maybe <laughs> no, like an arcade I, type of game. Well, there's know? StarCraft 2 on uh, PlayStation, right? <laughs> I, yeah, there's yes. there's Riddler two on PlayStation. Like these these things happened. <laughs> someone yeah. Yeah, but someone aside learned from how that, to do that. Like controller support nowadays, it's really easy to implement with any engine. I would say. And uh, well, the, the, a lot the problem also is that a, a controller you can like do is better than a mouse and keyboard in a lot of ways because of the like gradient of the joystick. Right, you can make a mm -hmm. person move like a half speed based on how. Much yeah. you tilt the stick, you can't do that with the keyboard. So then there's going to be like a asymmetry between keyboard and controller. Yeah, definitely. And when you're putting your game, you got to take that into consideration. Like, what do I want the player to have an advantage when using the controller? That'd be kind of bad. But at the same time, then you feel bad not taking advantage of the controller features. Yeah. So That's I always, really uh, uh, you have to wait kind of what way you want to go there. Or just yeah. design your game in a way where it doesn't make a difference, I guess. It's hard, man. <laughs> yeah, it is. How do I do yeah. that? Game design is hard. It's otherwise everyone would do it, right? <laughs> I think you feel like everyone is trying to do. It's a good point. <laughs> yeah. And they should do. Keep it up. Yeah. Good but job, everyone. Don't. Keep going. Yes. Good job. Keep going. We will all suffer together. Um... Oh, okay. So, CFK. Also, but two controllers is. It's a good point. I mean, having two controllers with you. Uh, you gen you'll have one because you like to play games on the controller, but having two controllers might be a lot rarer. Um, I actually can't, have to. Can the other guy just bring his own controller? That's actually on. good. Yeah, good point. Just bring your own, plug it in. It'll be fine. Yeah. Um, yeah. Don't be so lazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> always have your controller always with you. Yeah. Always have your controller with you. You can just log into the other guy's Steam if he doesn't have games anyway, and download it if you have a game. Take two. <laughs> You know, take your control over. No excuses, guys. Okay, lands. From now on, I expect people to take controllers, and that's it. Just take control of the situation. <laughs> <laughs> Life advice oh, here no. on the Pix Fix podcast. <laughs> Got a stand up show and a podcast all in one. Uh, don't quit your day job, bro. It'll be fine. Kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, honestly, right. I consider uh, the controller the main uh, input for my game. I can uh, imagine playing a platformer with a keyboard, but it feels, you know, I, I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, it is weird. Uh, I replayed uh, Super Metroid on, a, on an emulator recently when I was at my parents with a keyboard. You didn't uh, it's have a not time, uh, right? No, 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 not at all. Yeah, especially, especially with Super for, Metroid. Uh, yeah, for wall jumping. That was awesome. Ah, oh, great. Loved yeah. the oh, bit wow. of it. But uh, it, I, I have to say, uh, keyboard is a lot more precise when it comes to individual key presses. 
but it's really hard to do combinations of uh, button presses with it. Yeah. So that's another downside and upside of it, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, give people the options when you make a game, let them have their keys rebindable and also give them the option to use a controller and also have the keys rebindable because developers nowadays don't still do that and I have no idea why why they wouldn't. Well, actually, in Game Maker, it's a bit uh, complicated. You have to. I mean, it yeah. Yourself. I, I did uh, in I, Game Maker. I plan on something. doing it, but uh, it's gonna be a few, uh, at least a week of work, I guess. Oh wow! It took me like two days for mine, but I don't know. Maybe I just did it in a simple way. Uh, what what uh, what tool do you do you use? I'm also, I'm in one point four Studio one point four, but yeah. But you make a variable for every key. Yep, keep variable for every key and then and then the what you just when whatever prompt pops up and you say press the okay. key to be this button they press the key and it's set and then you can do like a thing where it swaps the keys if it's already taken and then all that mm. all that fun stuff yeah mm. the fun part Jeez, hey, you should games. write a plugin for game maker hey build in the plugins. tools that's why I'm using <laughs> game maker Put i don't in program the shop makes that's text. the whole point <laughs> Yeah, okay, shop makes stacks. Come on. Oh yeah. No, I think I'll pass. <laughs> so, program. so what about what about me music? Does everyone like can anyone do music well here? Uh, I wouldn't say well, what, but I, I struggle no, with. did a little bit of music. I don't oh. even make sounds. <laughs> Wait, what? Well you do right now. I could you point do I'm making sounds. sounds with my mouth, but Yeah. These are these your in game effects? You just talk, boom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, boom. no joke. This is the best way to make sounds for game jam games, right? Because it's yeah, it's that's instantly why available and it works just so well. I, I got people my mic. Like I'm coughing yeah. into my mic. And people just go crazy about it, right? Well, for, I used I used to you know like one of those sound generation things for like actual shooting effects. So if I need something specific, yeah, I'm I'm here like slobbering into my microphone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm wearing glasses. I hate making sounds and and music, and it's just awful. Oh yeah, yeah. Maybe I will. Maybe maybe I will just hire someone. You know, <laughs> maybe that's the best idea. It's for, yeah, you know, give someone else some fat stacks. They need it too. Yeah, I'm too poor. <laughs> <laughs> that's a problem. I don't have money to hire anyone. I can't make mm, money to hiring you anyone. You could trade art with music, right? Ah, because to me, just. Just brought up uh, dogabuse.web, which uh, I don't know if everyone knows about this, but it's basically sound effects that Weasel made. That ah, shit, that's probably so old. Damn. <laughs> I don't even remember what it sounds like. Damn, I, I don't. You have it somewhere. I don't know where. It... <sighs> yeah, there's a lot of free sounds online too. I forgot to mention that. Oh, oh yeah, yeah that, that's true. Like freesounds.org works really well, but that's also very specific. Let's mostly recorded yeah. sounds, not always the best quality. And getting these sounds like in a unified way into your game is in a, a challenge in, a, in and of itself. All right. Well, anything else Lots to talk about? Good. Uh, we were talking about like game engines and what we are expecting, right? From a from a game. Right, well, you just need it. you know make sprites, have objects or whatever to do stuff. I mean that's it. Or oh, and yeah, have and a way to get an ins instance because construct. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you see, there we go. Needs to have instances instancing. All right, that's yeah. yes. What else do you need? An engine, really? Yeah, that, that's it. That's what I wanted to say because you just need sprites, right? For for two D for D two D games, that is. You need sprites. You need a good way to handle sprites. You need sprite sheet animation in a, a way that makes sense. Like, uh, you have to have each frame of an animation be able to time differently to have total control over what happens with your animation right and that's not yeah. really hard to program it's just mostly not there so you have to do it yourself over and over again uh you need some proper tile map setup that works possibly in like chunks or a partition or something like that yeah so you can have like huge game maker maker's, game uh, maker's tiles is horrible so yeah there we go like game maker is a go-to for every 2d yeah i think uh, they improved developer. on and then uh, actually you, you it's way like better this, right? yeah i hear it's a lot better in the uh, studio uh, in two, studio but... two i can show you right now if you want to oh, see yeah, the, go ahead. Oh, the no. tile editor yeah i want to see that. uh major features promoting game maker. layers 
yeah. layers. That's, sponsorship. that's just yeah, well, that's sponsorship. incredible. Oh, it has tile yeah. layers now. Yeah, in yeah. one point four, it had like depth, but it was like complete like garbage. Oh, no, it, it was awful, <laughs> awful. <laughs> like, I didn't no even to, like, use tiles back then. Yeah, uh, no I use to, like, uh, objects through. with uh, auto tiling scripts inside of it. Yeah, yeah. terrible. Yeah. That's what I'm doing too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, jeez. So you can uh, make your own sprite sheets. You can yeah. uh, select multiple tiles at once oh if you want God. to make a brush. Right, hang you on, can I'm, make, buying. I'm buying this right now. You can make uh, <laughs> four brushes. No, honestly, it's uh, it's it's usable. It wasn't. No, now it is. Yeah, that that looks. I decent. think that it's an improvement decent. from terrible to usable. Yeah. Do, do you Still have access to. to the to the uh, tile layer uh, setup in a programmatic way? Yeah, yeah, you can uh, actually. I use tiles for uh, secret areas. You can't modify the the alpha of the layer, so you can't make it just fade out. Uh -huh. But uh, you can toggle it uh, on or off. Okay. So that's what uh, that's what I do. I just hide uh, the fact that uh, there is no there is no alpha fade out with the uh, particles and uh, and some other stuff. Oh, that makes sense. All right. Cool. Uh, what about so I, loading uh, custom uh, uh, time map file uh, thingies? Uh, I don't know. Uh, okay. I, I saw a tool the other day where you could uh, edit tiles in it. And I saw there was a, a way to export it into Game Maker, but uh, I couldn't uh, confirm it. I'm not sure. Very cool. Yeah, well, it looks like they made uh, a little bit of a step forward there. That's good. A, little, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I mean layers. There, there were no layers. It's like the most simple feature you need in any time map, right? Yeah. Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably took them long enough. Imagine drawing without layers. Oof. But yeah, that, <laughs> that's, that's what I mean right because there are a lot of uh, different tools for 2d developers but they are so bare bones that it kind of begs the question why are they even there if they're in such an incomplete state right because you have to do all this stuff on your own anyway so you can just create your engine from scratch and have total control over it right and I don't know, I never what try I to make it. still struggle with right now, so I'm still looking well, maybe, for Maybe you should, make, you should make an engine and show oh, us. There we go. There I did for so often. It's, <laughs> it's not the best solution, but I eventually I'm going to end up with that as well. All right. <laughs> then we'll have 15 competing game engines. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The XKCD, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. The weasel engine. The new <laughs> standard. Uh, oh, I, yeah. I would go for that. But do you know what the best part about that engine is, though? It's going to have Weasel's voice making weird noises. There's all oh, sound yeah. effects. For, e for every yeah. sound effect in the UI. Default <laughs> sound effects as well. <laughs> Default <laughs> sound effects. Like, that's new to game making. Like, I'm sorry. That's I, I take an engine that did that. Thanks. That's a great idea, actually. I'm going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And so sound packs. Let's go. Make the bad stacks. I'm ready. Yep. Oh, that's another good idea. Dude! <laughs> I'm just making you money. Just it, remember to send the royalty. Itch.io, I am coming. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Well, that was an exciting discussion. Yeah, a little bit of a rant going on, but whatever. Anything else the engine needs other than bearable tile mapping? Pretty important. Well, not really, right? See. That's that's the basic you need and everything else you make yourself, pretty much. Well, you probably need some way to save the, the game. <laughs> well, Both, like yeah. saving the game and like saving the game, you know? Yeah, yeah. And compiling to different platforms, let's not forget. Right, yeah. Yeah, that can be important depending yeah, on... Yeah, and preferably not, you know, $100 extra per platform. <laughs> oh, that would be nice, yes. Yeah, I don't know, some horrible software does that, I don't want to say any names but <laughs> <laughs> well to be fair it's it's pretty hard to maintain that so the additional costs are all right all right fine 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 they, they are legit yes weasel what? here's a game making engine expert so he'll know so. right of course yeah i'm like super professional we just write everything in java how about that there we go export everything <laughs> okay, you will sold. be removed from the podcast right now <laughs>
Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, but Minecraft was made in Java. Look how successful it is. That's yeah, actually, that's true. Yeah. yeah, I guess you got a point that's there. Probably, probably a fluke, though, but... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> probably would have been better if it had been in anything else. Like... Well, they remade it, or they rewrote it in something else. I mean, Microsoft right. did it, but... Yeah, everyone yeah, says no, it's worse. exclusive to Windows 10. Thank you very much. Yeah, what? That's really? Right. No, I yeah, the Win Windows 10 version. They rewrote yeah. it from scratch. But you can't have it if you don't have Windows 10. I hear it sucks, oh, but, but you can like... still the, get the, the original vanilla. Oh, yeah, the Java version, yeah, yeah it's still maintained. Uh, yeah. I hear the Windows 10 version like crashes and you can't mod it very well. And it's just horrible. But it is in 4K. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, oh, my right. God. No joke, the, the E3 announcement was hilarious. Yeah. It's like, Minecraft 4K. And I was like, oh, wow. Really? I, was, I was blown away. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Minecraft in 4K. I Holy can see crap. blocks in higher resolution pixels now. This is amazing. Wait, couldn't you just resize your fucking window before? No, no. <laughs> All right, it's different. I can see the 16 by 16 textures in 4K. Yeah, All that's right. so important. Yeah. Oh, the, the new default pack in uh, Windows in the Windows 10 version, I think, is now 32 by 32 actually. Oh, well, there we go. 4K, guys. Is that 4K? 32 by 32? Nah, no, not quite, but they, they're getting there, right? I gotta yeah. install Minecraft, hang on. All right. Yeah, yeah, it's like, why am I talking to you guys? I need to install Minecraft now. I have Windows 10. We, we, we I also, up, yeah, uh, upgraded we old, just yeah. Uh, Perfect, can we just, yeah, right. let's take a moment. Thank you. Weasel upgraded his machine to <laughs> Windows 10. Like, just, just to play this podcast. Yeah, just so you get a Skype camera. Actually, just to play Minecraft. <laughs> I, oh, okay, oh, never mind. You're an asshole. Go there away. was a hidden reason the whole time. <laughs> In 4K, guys. In 4K. Okay. Uh, fuck, I don't have a 4K monitor. What have I done? <laughs> <laughs> you don't need it. It's fine. You and I can't see past 1K anyway. Yeah, I, I'm playing in windowed mode anyways. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. That's true. 4K window mode. Okay, window mode. Just play it across three of your screens. Yeah, that works. Wait, how, how would you set that up, though? Oh, St stack them on top of each other. Stacked. And then, like, turn it sideways? I don't know. That'd be pretty <laughs> close. Well, All right. he touched it. Any other features we're missing from our dream engine? Or are we good to go here? We need uh, 4K support. I'm fine with the things that were mentioned, but it that alone is really hard to get already. Yeah, probably. Or just decent fast 2D rendering. That that is enough with a with a good language attached. I'd go for that any day. Yeah, well, what we need for an engine is, uh, is some some program language support and the ability to compile, and we're done, right? Yeah. <laughs> Easy. Only anything else. Uh, sorry, did we just say IDE? Is that what we said? Our new game making engine is. Uh, any yeah. IDE. It's just an like, any IDE, really. Notepad plus plus. My favorite, my favorite engine is is Notepad. <laughs> <laughs> favorite game making engine's Notepad. Yeah. It's got everything all the other game makers have. I don't know. What. Pretty good. Yeah, it can do everything. It can do literally everything. Oh yeah, you're right. My favorite engine is to open up the you know my hard drive and write <laughs> write to it manually. <laughs> Manual, yeah. It's like making HD art and paint, right? Yeah. <laughs> much. Okay, I, let's do it. It is possible, but you don't want to do it. Yes. Yeah, it is. Uh, <clears throat> Elk make that dragon? He had that red fire dragon, which was made pixel by pixel. So basically, he made that in paint. Yeah, see. Elk's dragon. Easy. Easy. There we go. I think it only took him like four years. <laughs> Time is, all, time is all relative, you know, compared to the, the lifespan of the universe, there's no time at all. Uh, the other day I saw a man who made a, a whole book with uh, illustrations in paint. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, he made it be, uh, at, uh, at his workplace, I guess, and he used Jeez. paint because he, <laughs> he had just paint. Shouldn't he be working though? I don't know about that. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe the, his boss would say all the, the, the money. Maybe. Hmm. Well, are we good here then? Should we all depart? Uh, let's just mention that I accidentally deleted a frame. Oh, shit. I don't know Ooh. which one. 
So I guess oh. I'm not I'm not fluent with uh, the shortcuts in a sprite yet. Yeah, yeah. Fine. I'm Alt, struggling Alt to know which one. Alt Z. Alt Z. That's Z. all. Wait, that's so close to Control Z. No. Yeah, like uh, a couple yeah, of keys. Oh. Yeah, I see. I'll have to investigate it. Yeah, so that's can go, fun. You could go go watch it back in the VOD, maybe. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's awesome. I guess I'll, yeah. I'll do that <laughs> instead of uh, looking for it. Too lazy, you know. Yeah, no, it's way better. All right, are we good <laughs> here then? I think let's do a bunch, do some plugs. something. Yeah, let's do, let's do some shout outs. Let's start uh, let's start down the list based on uh, the our order on the screen. The ambivorous is on the top, so oh, any shout outs and plugs you want to go for? Go for it. Uh, well, uh, I want to say shout out to uh, you guys, of course. Thank you for always having great podcasts. And obviously everyone watching, that's always cool. Uh, especially people who get involved and ask questions and say things. That's always great. It helps us out. Uh, and anyone who ever comes up with really dumb ideas, those are also great because they make for a huge amount of entertainment and potentially good games. Uh, <laughs> potential. <laughs> Potentially, most of the time they don't. But hey, whatever. It's good. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Yep. All yeah. right. I guess I'm uh, I'm down the way. You 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 gotta plug in your info. Come on. Oh, sorry. And then uh, just look for Ambiverse on everything on the internet. It's probably right. like, Ambiverse on everything. Look yeah, it up I on reading. Just go and Google and then. Yeah, he's he's like, like super YouTube. famous. Uh, so. I've got like five followers, so you, you yeah, can't. Yeah, like five billion. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Uh, I guess I'm next. Shout out to uh, the viewers. Shout out to the people on the cast. Wonderful people. Shout out to uh, uh, Pixel Pile Driver for abandoning us once again. Ah, oh, scumbag. Glories. Uh, shout out to our sponsors. Uh, Prince of Persia. <laughs> That's right. Best movie uh, to have ever hit Hollywood. Wait, there's a movie? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Hold on. We, you don't know about the. Oh my gosh. That's right. I'm coming to a theater near you soon. Summer 2017. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I gotta, I gotta watch that. Yeah, guys. I gotta. No, no. Actually, I think wow. it released a few years back. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. Quite a few. Plugs. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Yaoman KS. It's just my name with the, my initials after K and S. I thought it was Kill Steal. Uh, nope. <laughs> I never steal kills. I'm a team player. <laughs> <laughs> Kill secured. Yeah, exactly. And uh, let's see what else. You can follow me on Tumblr, but I don't post there. You can look on my DeviantArt, <laughs> but I don't post there. So <laughs> I'm planning on posting there more fre recent, frequently, but whatever. Good. So I see why companies hire social media managers. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Too many stuff to post. Yeah. Instagram, Facebook. The every time I want to update a post, I get this, like seven different websites to update. So. No Aren't more there like, like multi-platforms though where you make one post and they go into your Tumblr, wait, 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 wait. Twitter and so what? forth and what? they what? make automatically post and everything? What? What is this? This is some kind of black magic. <laughs> no one told me about this. I don't know. Maybe you should look it up. And if it doesn't exist, make it. You will make stacks. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it doesn't stacks. exist. And I'm sure they all have an API you can use. But anyway, yeah. That's uh, oh, yeah, and my website, kylesun.net. K-Y-O-E-S-U-N.net dot com is too expensive. So, yeah. yep, that's it for me. So, Weasel is after, right? Have fun. All right. Uh, <laughs> first of all, thanks for Scarce uh, jumping in today. It was really amazing to have you on. Uh, really hyped for your game. Really looking forward to your uh, updates on your Twitter. Uh, yeah, otherwise, uh, shout outs to pixelation.org once again. Really cool Pixar platform. Everyone should go there. Uh, right now. Right now. Uh, right. Shout outs also to Microsoft for not screwing up the Windows 10 upgrade on my PC today. That was really great of them. <laughs> More I, I was really fucking scared that I would like bust my fucking installation. And yeah, you know, you're, you're just installing and then the lights on fire random. Yeah, but everything worked out great, so I, I'm grateful for that. And uh, yeah, therefore the podcast worked out well as well. So that's good. Uh, yeah, otherwise, follow me on twitch.tv slash megaweasel or twitter.com slash megaweasel. I think that's, it. that's uh, mega w e e z l on both platforms. Uh, yeah, that's it. Scars, go ahead. Yeah, but thanks for having me. Uh, 
That's my first podcast ever. Let's mention it again. Mm-hmm. Uh, I usually don't speak English at all, so that was uh, quite an exercise. English is better than mine, so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you could follow me on Twitter. That says Kaz with an underscore, because if you try without it, you end up on the page of a man who created an account to post this. Thank you very much, buddy. Yeah, that oh, always man. happens, right? It's the same with the weasel. It's the internet is the worst place. You can, <laughs> if you want to see pictures, uh, you can follow me on uh, DeviantArt. That's his Kaz Dal. Uh, yeah, let me do that right now, actually. And... Uh, the, the official game site. Right? It's a work in progress, but uh, if you want to see uh, fancy GIFs and uh, screenshots and project status, you can follow me here. And uh, thanks for uh, to to Ace Sprite. Uh, I honestly think I, uh, I will stop using Photoshop for animation. No, oh, goodbye, nice. Photoshop. Yeah, you can uh, you can do that in Photoshop. Rest you know? in peace. That's really fancy. Love it. I just have to, to figure out how not to delete accidentally your frames. <laughs> it would be nice. And uh, I shout out to, to Pixelation. It's a great forum. That's true. Yeah. And yeah, I guess, except, except for Crow. Yeah, that's it's pretty great. Yeah, other than Crow. Jeez, guys, come on. Let's be real. Would you trust Crow to make a website? No. <laughs> yeah, he, he migrated the servers today as well. Oh, really? Jeez. Doing yeah. Work. Cool. Is that oh, no, no downtimes ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, ever. Zero percent downtime, guys. So pixelation. Yeah. We were at ninety-nine point nine before, and now we're at a hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> For the foreseeable future. Yeah. At least until this point in time, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess that's it for me. I had to go eat lunch before my mom has a hernia. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Okay then, uh, thanks everyone for watching, we'll see you yeah. in two weeks, and that is the, uh, let me check real quick, the 30th of July, uh, 10 L- p.m. Ludum Dare C-E-S-T. Week. yeah, it is, it is Ludum Dare that weekend, uh, we will oh. maybe decide to maybe postpone we should, the We should have a game from Other- us three. Ooh. Otherwise, we, yes. will, uh, we will do we some We will have a game, that's Ludum what's Dare happening. Yeah, the pick episodes. sticks entry. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Let's do that, actually. <laughs> As we weren't, pre- we weren't underprepared enough. Here we go, adding something else. <laughs> we we will uh, we will manage it. I am pretty sure. Okay, bye. I believe. Right, have a good one. <laughs>